right my friends, we are done with the frying from all the French toast. Like no joke, look at it. Just look at it. Enjoy it. I hop, huh? I hop, you probably Again I hop. Or I hop, to which I, I hop. responded. Sacre bleu! Oh, peach cut in water now. Always, always I hope or Denny's when it comes to breakfast, cheat days, videos, and all that stuff. It's crazy, but you know what, guys? I'm from Germany. We don't have your I hope or Denny's. So let's make us our own French toast or what? A big and epic stack. I got really big cravings for French toast. Let's go crazy. So if you're new, I'm Alan, 28 years, I'm from Germany and I do weekly cheat days or food challenges so if you're in love with a lot of food be safe to follow me guys because right now I have over 100 cheat day videos and also a lot of other videos so be safe to follow me and if you want to be the first also follow me on Instagram the link is in my description box down below so yes guys I don't want to talk too much because this will take some time so let's start with the cooking or what? So my friends, I will tell you right now quick and easy what my plans are, so I want to make the batter. First, we will make a kind of a savory batter because I want to make some panko crust, French toast. And after that process, we will come into the sweet batter that I will put some sugar and also some vanilla extract into the batter. So guys, let's start with our batter. I don't know if I speak French very well, but I tried my best. <laughs> Fuck it. Now let's pour the milk. So, and here we got two whole packages of American sandwich toast. First, I want to buy the brioche bread, but guys, almost everything is sold out. It's crazy just because of what is going on in the world right now. And dust it in the panko. Like so. I don't know if you can see it right now. But this will take some time, guys. Last slice of the panko. We will have eight slices of each stack because I want to make five different stacks of French toast. Some sugar, uh, maybe a bit, uh, maybe a lot. Some vanilla. Not too much. It's very strong. Cinnamon For the next batter guys, we got some cornflakes crusted French toast So here we have a lot of cornflakes that I crushed up into smaller bites with a lot of brown sugar and cinnamon Like so so my friends, and for the next 8 slices of French toast, we are gonna use coconut sprinkles. Just because I want to make some French toast with the coconut crust. I think this is going to be super. I think this is going to be my favorite. Just look at these beauties. It looks amazing. So my friends, and with the rest of the sandwiches, we just go plain. So just some normal French toast slices without any kind of a crust. Then I will fry everything up, then I will decorate them and then we will see us at the table with a lot of delicious French toast. So stay tuned. All right, my friends, we are done with the frying from all the French toast. 40 slices and I have to hold them with my hands because the tower is too crazy. But right now it's time for the decoration. So for the toppings. Oh, 
All right, my friends, that took forever. No joke, right now it's five minutes before 10 and I start to make everything, I think it was like six. So we got right now five different stacks. Each got eight, eight slices of French toast, so 40 slices of French toast in total. And between each layer, we got a lot of spread. Yeah, I start a timer, guys, just for fun. It's right now, I hope you can see it, 9 for, uh, 9.56, I think, or 9.57. We want to be the first behind the scenes and always some live uh, videos and some taste tests and everything and want to know what I eat also in my normal days. Just follow me on Instagram, guys. The link is in the description box down below. Alan eats all. But yes, right now, it's time for Alan to eat. So here we got a stack of normal French toast without any kind of a crust, so just the normal batter. But between every single slice, we got um, blueberry and raspberry jam and peanut butter. And on top we got Reese's Pieces and the Reese's peanut butter cup. And also some peanut butter again and some uh, drizzle of peanut butter and some more uh, jam as well. Look at the cross section. Like no joke, look at it. Just look at it. Enjoy it. Cheers my friends, I love you all. Let's enjoy my first meal of the day with a lot of French toast. So, itadakimasu! Oh my god! This is so delicious! Call me chef, bitch. This is peanut butter jelly heaven, but what a heaven. Oh wow. I'm so happy. This is so freaking good. It's coated with the pan Japanese panko crust and it's stuffed with Japanese curry. Maybe you can see all the filling, but it's all brown because of the curry. I love Japanese curry, it's super delicious. And I hope this will get a good crunch, we will see. That was a crunch that should be heard around the whole world. Oh, is she? Oh, wow. Shinichi, Satoshi, greetings to you, Tabi Eats and everybody. Much love to Japan. You got to try this. This is a curry bun on steroids. Mmm. Oh. Oh, it's your... Purutan. When you see this, please make this. This needs to be eaten warm. Mm. And for this stack, we got the toasted coconut French toast. So it's all coated in coconut. Maybe you can see it, maybe not because of all the Nutella. Because between every single slice, we got Nutella, bananas on top as well. And also some mana coconut wafers. And also strawberry jam. I love coconut so much. Oh wow! And with Nutella and bananas. Fuck my life. This is so freaking amazing. Mm. Oh baby! Man! Mm. Oh wow! Like a French toast bounty! Mm. 
with the milk. Mm. The to mm. the coconut flavor is so strong. Mm. All the bananas, wafers, Nutella, strawberry jam. Ah. The top part is every time the best. All right, guys, this one looks amazing. This is a normal batter of French toast. Between every single slice, we got the milk spread from Nino Lada. Then we got on top strawberries and also between the slices, some strawberries. Then we got birthday cake cereals, as well as Kinder Chocobongs, the white ones, and also a white Kinder Bueno. So Patricia, you want some white chocolate? I gave you some white chocolate. We got the milk chocolate spread from Linolada, it tastes like Bueno. We got all the strawberries. Oh my god. I think this is going to be my favorite one. This is the Linolada spread. Greetings to you, Darko. And to all my Balkan peeps. So moist. The white chocolate spread. Ah, uh, the milk chocolate spread from Linolada. Oh wow, with the Kinder Bueno. Greetings to my ragazzis. Mamma mia. Amazing! Dumas, greetings to you. This is so amazing. Mm. Ah. So far my favorite. Mmm. Oh baby. That is how I like my dessert guys. Not like my relationships. So no drama. Mmm. Just pure love. Let's cut into this last stack of French toast first and then I will tell you what we have. Brown sugar cinnamon cereal batter filled with applesauce in every slice and also my own homemade cinnamon cream cheese brown sugar icing and on top we got some cinnamon bun Oreos. I'm a big big cinnamon guy. And I tasted the frosting and it's amazing. One moment. The combination of the icing with the apple sauce and now with the Oreo. Oh wow. OMG! The cornflakes taste so much like brown sugar with the icing and the apple sauce. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to say. There was a great idea with the cereal crust. Super delicious. Mmm. Yeah. All the work was totally worth it for this taste right now. Let me know what was your favorite. If you want to see this in kind of a different version like 
a lot of pizzas or pancakes, waffles, just let it be know. Mm. Okay, <clears throat> let's try out some of the <clears throat> Japanese again. Mmm, for something savory. Oh. Mmm. But the crust at the outside is, is becoming too hard. It's really like a brick. Yeah, you have to eat this fresh. Definitely. Maybe I will don't eat this. The crust. We got two more here. And I want to destroy this once and then. So let's move to the blue raspberry again. Mmm. Oh. So easy. If you make French toast with the crust and you don't use brioche be safe to eat it fresh I saved the top part because it's the best and also from this one so now strawberry linolada mm. So refreshing and so delicious. The moment when you totally forget that you got so much more essentials, uh, like the raspberry syrup, some whipped cream. Oh man, but yeah, let's try out some whipped cream, guys. Oh yeah, strawberry shortcake, French toast. It work, works definitely with some raspberry syrup. Oh, mm. Kinder Chocobon, some more whipped cream, strawberry. This has to be good. Yo! Wow! I love the white ones. <sighs> Again, the blue raspberry with a lot of delicious blueberries and also Reese's Pieces on top and more peanut butter mm. wow. mm. they are also good wow The white chocolate was the Lino and also the cinnamon one. Oh my god. In my opinion, are my best ones from today. But I really cannot say which are my favorite. And yes, I would love to eat the whole of the Japanese savory ones, but the crust is just too hard. For real. <laughs> like a brick. Let's come to the end. This combination is just too good. The freshness of the strawberries with the linolada spread. Oh. So guys, 
If you enjoyed this video, please, if you're new, subscribe to my channel and to all my other subscribers. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and let me know what you want to see next. I love you all, guys. This is the last bite. We will see us in the next video. Magnifique. Fantastic. One hour and 70 minutes. I, I'm so slow. Au revoir with the French Toast Challenge.